Hello and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today we're making these bacon topped banana peanut butter pancakes for an epic breakfast that's fit for a king. And not just any king, these pancakes are an homage to Elvis and those infamous peanut butter, banana, and bacon sandwiches he used to love. Okay, now before we get started with the pancakes, you'll need some crispy bacon. And I just threw six slices onto a parchment lined disposable pan and broiled them for about 10 minutes or until they got crispy, then drained them on some paper towels. I've also got a third of a cup of creamy peanut butter that I warmed in the microwave for about 30 seconds to make it very easy to drizzle over those pancake stacks later. Now for the pancakes, I've got one cup of quinoa flour, and quinoa is very nutritious, but it does have a pretty distinct flavor which is why I chose to use it in this recipe with so many other strong flavors. And to that I'm adding one tablespoon of psyllium husk powder to thicken the batter, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now just whisk these together and set it aside. Now in a large bowl, I've got a quarter cup of creamy peanut butter, which is 64 grams by weight in case you don't want to use a measuring cup, and I've melted that for 30 seconds to make it easy to mix into the other ingredients. And I'm adding one and a half large ripe mashed bananas. The other half will be used to garnish those pancakes later. One cup of milk, one beaten egg, and a teaspoon of vanilla. Now mix the liquid ingredients together until they're well combined, then toss in the dry mixture and stir until you've got a thick homogenous batter. Now to make the pancakes in a large greased non-stick skillet over a medium low heat, ladle in one quarter cup measures. And since this batter is very thick, you'll need to use the back of your spoon to spread it out and get a nice round shape and allow the pancakes to cook low and slow for three minutes on the first side or until the tops begin to dry out a bit and you see small bubbles begin to form. Then flip them over and let them go for a couple of minutes on the second side. Now just stack them up with more banana slices, a drizzle of that melted peanut butter, some crispy bacon, and you've got a breakfast that would have made Elvis smile for sure. And when you give someone else this decadent stack, you're practically guaranteed a huge thank you. Thank you very much. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, or share. And for more videos you might like, click on those guys over there. And for brand new recipes every week, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.